Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to read a story to you that I've had at my house for a long time now. It's been a favorite of ours and it is called Nuffle Bunny. You probably have heard of it before, maybe even seen it in my classroom library. Nuffle Bunny makes me smile every time I read it. It's by an author and illustrator named Mo Willems. You might recognize that name too. Nuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Willems. Nuffle Bunny. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. It's a place where they do laundry. Can you see that picture? Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a help. She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Echo Flackle Clabble! That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, said Trixie again. Blaggle, plabble, whoopy, flappy, snurp. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. <gasps> Trixie bawled, and she went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. My doggy thinks this is a funny story too. He's over there off camera. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Oh, that's what Trixie was trying to say, wasn't it? The whole family ran down the block. There we go. And they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. There they go. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. <gasps> Nuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. The end. I always thought that was a fun one. Nuffle Bunny is written by Mo Willems, as I said before. And when it says by, you know what that means? It means that this author also did the illustrating too. Isn't that amazing? This one happens to be a mixture of photography, real pictures, mixed in with cartoon pictures. But did you know Mo Willems also wrote and uh, drew other stories too, like the pigeon stories, like how, or don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And I discovered something pretty cool. You might've seen it already. Also on YouTube, Mo Willems, the author and illustrator of this book, he has something called Lunch Doodles. And you can go to his page and he just shows you some of his artwork, how he does things. It's pretty amazing. And this morning I went on myself and look, I made a pigeon. If you want to do a pigeon too, you should go and check it out. All right. Nice to see you guys. I miss you. Bye.